When you walk through elementary schools especially, it feels like now's the time. When I went to school here, it was about 1980. Not too much is different. It's time to bring our buildings in line with what the future is. We got it? Okay. Our major challenges at the elementary school is, uh, is we're out of space. I think we're using every available space. We have people that are in rooms without windows and there are spaces that they're meeting with kids. Through the increased enrollment, we moved the nurse's office to accommodate the extra section in second grade. We definitely need the space in order to be able to you know, have an engaging, vibrant learning environment. Yay. Yay! Everybody that is using the facilities does the best that they can with what we have. However, um, we want to be proud of the places that we work in and we value education as does the community. That's one of the reasons why I live here and work here. We just need, we need things to be updated to go along with the times. It's not the same. It's not the 80s anymore. You know, make some of these fixes now so we're not dealing with trying to put band-aids on stuff later. It's time to take our elementary schools, update those bathrooms, update those classrooms so that, you know, they work for the education that we do today. And make the learning uh, opportunity better for the students. <laughs> Teaching when these buildings were built and designed versus now, you know, you're not gonna have 30 kids lined up in rows all staring at a blackboard. You're gonna have kids moving about more collaborative. We have an opportunity now to bring those rooms up to, up to the modern standard. When kids come to school, they wanna be in a classroom that feels like home. And I think these improvements really will help us do that. Let's create those spaces in our buildings that you know, give us as much pride in, in the buildings as we do being a Spartan.